Hello, I'm Sugyeong Kim from Oregon State University. Today, I'm going to present a feasibility study of Genesis IR to evaluate threats on coastal world by monitoring the wave height. High water levels and high waves cause coastal erosion, which is a known hazard. Also, roads on top of coastal blocks can be at risk due to high waves. Therefore, for continuous monitoring of wave heights, we developed a new technique using GNSS. GNSS has great advantage for coastal erosion monitoring. Many GNSS units are already available near coast, and it is easy to maintain and install. Thus, GNSS can play important roles by effectively monitoring coastal inundation and erosion. We utilized Genesis IR technique, which used the Genesis signal reflected from the water surface to estimate the wave height based on the remote sensing technique. The presence of wave results in the distortion of the written signals, and this characteristic makes it possible to estimate the wave height. We conducted an experiment in Dog, North Carolina. For that, septentry antenna and receiver were installed. The Genesis antenna was mounted on top of the tower to secure the clear view toward the ocean surface. Then we collected the Genesis signals from December 4 to 31. Additionally, a nearby wave V was used to validate our wave height observed by Genesis IR. Here are the experimental lizards in dock. In the plot, we computed the wave height using Genesis IR, which are displayed in the black lines. And the blue line is the wave height from the nearby buoy. In overall, the wave height from Genesis IR shows a similar pattern to the wave height from buoy. It was confirmed that as the wave height from the buoy increased, Genesis IR result also increased. And conversely, when the wave height from the buoy decreased, the Genesis IR result also decreased. For the numerical comparison between the Genesis IR and the buoy, the correlation coefficients were computed. As we expected, a high correlation coefficient 0.81 was confirmed. In particular, the correlation coefficient improved to 0.88 when the wave heights were lower than 1.5 meter. The corresponding result shows that the proposed approach is feasible to observe the wave height and it can be a promising complementary tool for monitoring the wave.